I have fun facts about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai lived in the time after the destruction of the Second Temple when the Romans were ruling the land of Israel. The Romans decided they wanted to kill Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, so he escaped and ran and lived in a cave with his son. They lived there for 13 years. And what do you? What's on the menu for 13 years when you're living in a cave? God miraculously made a carob tree grow and a river stream all of a sudden coming by, so he had water to drink and he had carobs to eat. And in those years in the cave, what did they do? Well, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai actually authored the Zohar, which is the most prominent work in the Kabbalah, the hidden aspect of the Torah. When Rosh Hashanah came out of the cave after, originally after 12 years, he was in such a lofty spiritual realm that he could not handle the physical world around. Everything that he saw burst into flames. God said, get back in the cave, and he spent another year creating within himself the ability to reintegrate back into society in a way that he could be on a very lofty spiritual realm, but without destroying everything around him. And he would become one of the most prominent members of the Jewish sages that would write the Mishnah, the Oral Torah.